If you want to take the USMLE, the first thing you probably heard regarding study resources is the first aid. It is this 900 plus pages book that covers almost 95% of the concepts that show up on the exam. So reading it as many times as needed to really grind those concepts into your memory seems like a very logical thing to do, right? Well, no. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you why it's not a good idea and how you can use it more intelligently to improve your score. So let's get to it. Okay, to explain the point I want to make, let's look at this sequence of numbers. Let's say this represents some enzymes you absolutely need to know for your exam because you're 100% sure they're going to pop up on the test. Now, if you're like most people, to remember them, you're going to reach for memorization techniques such as flashcards, rereading them multiple times, that kind of stuff. And you'll probably need several reviews to really grind them into your head since there are so many and so random. So you're screwed, right? Well, you're screwed because I'd made you think that you had no other choice but to learn these numbers by memory. If I had taken the time to explain that every number out of this sequence is obtained by adding two to a sequence that starts with six and ramps up accordingly, you would get every one of those numbers by just remembering the first one, the formula, and doing simple math afterwards. A very similar thing happens with the first aid. You see, to keep a book with the amount of concepts that the first aid has short, you have to cut out most of the explanations out of the book. By doing this, the book creates the illusion that this is all you need to know to perform well on the exam. Which is partially true since the concepts are what's gonna be tested on the real deal. But it's partially false as well since the behind the scenes of why every concept is the way it is has great significance to help you understand everything not just based off of memory. To make my case, let's look at this page taken from the first aid. For many students, the concepts displayed over here are gonna be very hard to wrap their heads around. And not surprisingly, very little explanation is given to make sense of those graphs. So you have two choices to learn this material. First, go to a complementary resource to learn, for example, why the hell is a competitive inhibitor overcome by more substrate while a non-competitive isn't. Or as a second choice, just reread this page several times to remember everything. If you're like the first type of student, more power to you but you can still be a little bit more efficient and I'll show you how in a couple of seconds. But if you're like the second type of medical student, you're making the exam much harder than it needs to be. And you're making it harder because most of the concepts on the exam can be easily remembered by just understanding the why behind everything. Those why are like your magic formulas to come up with the numbers without actually having to remember the numbers, if that makes sense. The best solution for this problem is very straightforward. You have to learn the formulas before you start reading the text. Students have tried to sort of address this issue by first reading a page, then go ahead and seeing a video, and then annotating the stuff they learned to make sense of the concepts on their first date. But this approach has two big issues. First time. After all, you're jumping between two resources, comparing, contrasting, trying to make sense of one of them with the information on the other, and then annotating back and forth, and that just takes forever, especially considering that most notes are taken by hand. And secondly, those notes you're taking won't help you retain the material any longer. In fact, this has been heavily studied, and all of the evidence points to the same direction, which is taking notes and rereading those notes has a negligible effect on memory, especially long-term memory. The only thing taking notes and reviewing them has shown to improve is familiarity, and familiarity is also known as false comprehension, or in other words, you think you know until you actually get tested. So what can we do to take full advantage of this compendium of medical facts? Use it as a checklist. That's right, in my opinion, the best way to use the first aid is not at the beginning of your prep, but at the end of your prep. It's a checklist to see if every concept you learn through other sources like QBanks and videos has been learned. If you learned all of the concepts that the book shows you, great, it means you had a good prep and you know everything and you have the additional advantage of having extra exposure to the concepts. But if a concept shows up that you didn't learn, that's a red flag. You have to spend some time on it because it may show up on your exam. 
By using the first date like this, you take full advantage of the book's content without having to spend so much time reviewing it over and over again. And you also bypass the problem of having to rely solely on memory to learn the content. Anyways, that was it for the video. If you found it useful and want me to continue uploading more free content such as this one for you, all you need to do is like this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video.